Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I have Nico, my pride and joy, and my mama. I drove home today on a whim because I missed her and my back hurt. So I said, chiropractor, I need you. But this is my mom. She's cool. She's a cool lady. She kind of funny. She got a sense of humor. Yeah. Kind of funny. Yeah. <laughs> I am funny. I said, okay, tell a joke. Well, I can't think of one right now. <laughs> you know, you caught me off guard. <laughs> really, mom? I'm not an on-the-spot person. Tell a joke. I can't. Yes, you can. I believe in you. Ready? Knock, knock. Who's there? Yeah. So you started the knock, knock. Jingle bells. Jingle bell who? Jingle bell rock. Oh, God. <laughs> that was too close to a dad joke. We're not going to ever do that again. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell rock. Okay, your turn. I told a joke. Now your turn. Oh, I don't have one. I can't do this on the spot. That's not my thing. Make one up. I just did. Make one up. Hmm. So there were these two guys who went to a baseball game. And I'm making this up, by the way. And they could never remember where they parked their car. So one of the guys said, how about we ride two donkeys? We'll be able to find them. We won't have to search the parking lot. It'll be two donkeys, you know? And so they did next baseball game. They went to the stadium, rode their donkeys, put them in a parking space. And when they came out, they still couldn't find them. So they were walking around, walking around, all these cars looking for their donkeys couldn't remember where they left them and somebody said you know you guys lost can't find a car they said yeah we rode two donkeys here and we can't find them and they said oh those two asses over there <laughs> i made it up okay i knew where i was going the whole time i made it up <laughs> i love it this is my new favorite joke <laughs> You'll never remember that. See, here's the, here's the funny thing, though. Whenever she tries to tell me a funny story, she can't get through it because she just starts laughing in the middle of it. And that's what makes it really funny because you're just laughing at her laughing, trying to tell you the story that you just don't understand because she's laughing. That's just how I am. That's how I tell jokes or tell funny stories, I should say. That's my favorite. Yep. Also here, um, I had to move this for the camera, but there's a picture of my oldest brother, when he was a little baby, and he's got some cool shades on. Mm. <laughs> also, a big fun announcement. He just announced that he's having a boy. Woohoo! I'm oh, going to yeah. be an aunt again. And a grandma. Right here. Even though I'm too young. Yeah, you she's know. like 30. Yeah, that's what we'll go with. <laughs> I'll take that. 30. I'll take that. All day, every day. All right, mom. Is there anything that you want to say to the to the wonderful people out there? Uh, the only thing I will tell everybody out there is, don't be afraid to get mental health help. Oh my god! I just throw that out there. That's a little, you know, thing because <laughs> she's a therapist. It's her job. It's my job. She's got to promote it. I promote it because I want everybody to know there's help out there for you, no matter what. I think that's hilarious. That's what you went for. Yeah. Well, you said anything. Yeah. I did it. Look at how short she is. <laughs> standing up straight. Short lady. I'm pretty confident Megan's standing short on her lady. toes. I'm not. She's just extending her body as much as she can. That was called true height. <laughs> <laughs> if you say so. <laughs> the rest of my days, I'm just slouching. That's why her back hurts. Actually stand up. If she stood straight all the time, she wouldn't need to go to the chiropractor. Hey, even when I stand straight, my whole my shoulders are still rolled over. Ma'am, <laughs> stop <laughs> slapping me. <laughs> you bring your shoulders back, but not like that. You know, okay. more of a natural position, and then just stand straight. My boobs look so big this week. <laughs> Work on that core. Strengthen your core and you'll naturally stand straight. Every time I work out with Haley, that's all I work on is my abs. And then I'm dead for like a week. Cool. Cool. All right.
and do those ab exercises, the crunches and the planks and. But tell everybody how often you or you see Haley and work out with her. Once every couple months, maybe. Okay, see, that's why we need to strengthen our core on a regular every single day. Let's do that. All right, then, you know, yes. I'm too lazy. Mm hmm let's do it. I'm lazy, too. We should all work out together. That's it. Let's promote working out, getting healthy. You know, I'll post my daily workouts of sitting on my bed mm. and sitting up to reach the remote. And then sitting up to reach my phone. <laughs> don't, don't post that. <laughs> Look at that. Don't do it. Got all the ideas right up in my noggin. Yep, I see. You want to do some dance moves? Just no. Just what you got? I just ate pull dinner. Out the, pull out the... I just point, ate dinner. finger, pull out the... A boo, 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 boo. <laughs> I just ate dinner. Why did you... <laughs> Megan made me go like a windshield wiper. No, it's supposed to be the disco. Oh. And you just weren't doing it right. Excuse me? <laughs> now you're doing Pulp Fiction. Got all the moves. Um, yes. I love that movie. John Travolta, hit me up. Yeah. Mr. Scientology man. <laughs> all right, are we done? If you want to be done, we're done. <laughs> I don't like to ad lib. I like to at least know what we're going to talk about, and this just pulling stuff out of thin air doesn't work for me. Which is called improvising. Mm -hmm. It's called, um, what's, what's, yeah, no, yeah, I said it right. When I improvise, <laughs> I want to talk about things that I feel are important, and you want to just dance and be silly. So, I'm probably going to watch some TikTok videos. Same. See if John Travolta pops up on my TikTok again. There you go. Absolutely.